Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a day that you will actually see me running in the rain because I got caught in the rain this um, little this afternoon. It wasn't supposed to rain then, but it did. It's supposed to rain now, which it is. Mm -hmm. So it just giving us two two downpours. Um, I want to tell you about sick um, the chickens, Silver and Rhonda. Yesterday, oh, that was not a good day with them for a while towards the end of the day. They were doing good all the way up all the way up until it was bedtime and then they were like fighting over the babies. And I noticed Silver ended up sleeping up in the little house and Rhonda went in the dog house with the babies. And then this morning uh, Rhonda was uh, once again chasing Silver away and I'm thinking this isn't right. Those are those aren't Rhonda's babies. Those are actually Silver's babies. But they were fighting over the babies. Rhonda was really trying to steal those babies. Well, then later that morning, I noticed, I went out to see again because it's like, how do you stop a chicken from fighting with another chicken and saying, hey, those aren't your babies. Those are Silver's babies. But you, you just have to let them kind of decide. Well, they've decided. So when I went back out, Silver had three babies and Rhonda had two. So I guess they've decided they're going to share the babies by, I'm your mama and I'm your stepmama or something. I don't know. But that's how they did it. And so they, they're still doing good. It'll be interesting to see who they sleep with if um, Silver will go up in the little house again and Rhonda go in the little dog house with the babies. Or if maybe Silver will join her again. They were both in there at before Rhonda got nasty and decided she wanted the babies all to herself. She didn't do the work. She didn't sit there for the 21 days. She gave up on hers. And good thing she only had two egg, two um, little eggs. And I don't know whether anything was in them because I just threw the second one away. I didn't even crack it to find out. The first one didn't have anything in it. And then I was checking on checking to see how many eggs I got well I got seven eggs today but I had to move Blackie Blackie was sitting on the wrong eggs for a, a little while and I went I put on the gloves because my goodness she really bites and it's a good thing I had on the heavy gloves of Jim's because they're too big on me and she bit my finger and I moved her from the nest that she was trying to sit on back to her own nest and she's sitting back on her eggs these chickens, I'm telling you. Well, let's go to the little video and you can see the gooseberries. I had questions about the gooseberries, but before I go over to the gooseberries, I'm going to show you the currants again. I showed you one other time, another year. But this is the currants. And they're just little red berries that are on a stem. And let me show you how you're supposed to eat them. You take the, you pick the whole thing like this. Now we're going to turn it so you can see me, I think, I'm hoping. Okay, now I hope you're seeing me. And then you put the whole thing in your mouth. Slide your lips on the things and, and you eat it. That's how you do it. Hope I got it right. We'll take a walk over to the gooseberries. Okay, these, these are the gooseberries. This is what they look like. And see, they're getting pretty, pretty dark. I don't like them when they're this dark. But you pick them, and they've got this little end on, the, on there that I snip off. And I eat the whole thing. I eat this stem. I don't take that stem off. I only take the, the one stem, the blossom stem off. So that it looks like this. See, I took the blossom stem off. It still has the other stem. Then you eat them. Here's the gooseberries. They're uh, really delicious. They, they remind me of eating grapes, but not grapes. Probably like your 
muscadines, maybe. I don't know. But I like them. They're, these are pretty sweet right now. It's going to rain. Oh my goodness. That's are starting. It's starting to rain. Oh my. It's raining. I'm going to run. Oh my goodness. It's really, really coming down now. I'm getting a wee bit wet. And Jim thought it wasn't going to rain right away. Well, good thing I went out when I did. Whew. It's raining. Now you saw, first I showed you the currents. <laughs> You're too funny. He, I said, let's go to the video and look at the gooseberries. And he's going, what else? And I says, I knew what I was going to say, but he didn't know what I was going to say. I was going to tell you, you saw the currants first because I thought I better show you the currants and then I showed you the gooseberries and then I got caught in the rain. It wasn't supposed to rain at that moment because I said we were on the porch a little bit earlier and I said I think I better go out and get the a, a little video of the gooseberries before it rains and Jim goes it's not gonna rain. Well it rained. So we got, I got wet, a little wet. It was coming down pretty good and I made some pretty bad faces running in the rain. The wind was big and it was running, the wind was blowing behind my eyeglass somehow. And the rain was hitting there also. And it was like, I can't keep the one eye open because I was getting pul pul pulver pulverized. <laughs> whatever another word that I don't know what I want to say but it was banging against pummeled. me pummeled yeah something with the rain and the wind it was causing it hard to see I went shopping today because we Jim was working on a motorcycle for Jessica or not a motorcycle whoa <laughs> she would love a motorcycle but no it's not a motorcycle he was working on a <laughs> he gave me the look like what mm. he was working on the lawnmower and the lawnmower, he got it running, and luckily our key fit the lawnmower key thing to start it. But it need the inner tube inside the tire was bad, so he bought a tube and he put. Did you change it? Mm -hmm. It's all done. It's all done. And it fits good, it and fits the good. air staying in. Yep. Okay. Well, the tire is fixed, but she needs to buy a battery because we used just a battery we had around here but she'll have to buy a battery and I think that's probably all um, put gas in it key she should a, she needs an air filter and a key an air filter and a key unless she steals the key from another lawnmower but I don't think you can do that if you're mowing because you got to keep it in mm -hmm. yeah so she'll have to find the key for that or get a key made maybe maybe her key will fit in and she can get a universe another key made maybe maybe I don't know um, but anyways, we went shopping and bought that. And I also bought some yarn because I want to try to make another shawl. I've got two shawls, but I want a third one. I want this one to be um, even thinner. And I bought some hooks because I want to try it with even a bigger hook to make it more lacy. And we'll see. And it's a two-ply instead of a three-ply. So let's see if it's... No, it's three-ply. No, three-ply instead of three four. three-ply instead of four. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know, but it's thinner than what I had. So I will try that. Also, we bought some chicken food because I was I was just about down on the container, and I do have another bag in the porch. I always have an extra bag, but I, want, I don't like to run out of things. This is, comes from my background. I don't know if you're like that. When you use one, you replace it. Well, we replaced it today, the chicken food and chicken scratch. We did that. Uh, let's see, I brought my notebook in because I, I wrote the stuff down just before we started because I know there was stuff I wanted to tell you, but I didn't write anything down as I was doing it. Let's see, I watched videos and I answered comments. I sewed on a button this morning. First thing in the morning, Jim says, um, do you have any needle and thread up here? Because the buttons on his shorts had come off and so I... Yeah. I was going to sew it on myself. No, I sewed it. He knows how. I know how to sew a button, too. And he's, I said to him, aren't you lucky I know how to sew a button? And he goes, he knows how to, which is true. He does know how. 
um, and my name, Jim asked me how that survey went. Well, my name is going to stay the same. The majority of you like it with the way I've been writing it, with the Nona Grace, with the capital G and all together. And I, the reason I want to have it, I wanted to know, is I want to have a sign made. And the sign that I have up right now, I will take it down. It's my walking sign. I was a walk leader. I'm a certified, well, I was a certified walk leader. I, I'm probably expired now because I didn't take any of the extra trainings, even though my certificate doesn't have any expiration date on it. But I think they consider the trainings your way of keeping your certification. But if I take it down, I don't want the village to say to me, if I don't put something up right away, that I built something. Because when I opened my daycare, they made me pay a building permit and then come to find out that the village was not supposed to charge which town. I knew or the town we're actually in the town, town of town, town of Portland. Portland wasn't supposed to charge but they didn't know that and I told them you're not supposed to charge me for this and they they charged me anyways because what do I know I'm just the person who's gonna pay the bill so they charged me and they charged another girl and then they gave the other girl her money back, but they didn't give me my money back. So I said to Jim, let's just put a sign up since I had to pay something for a building permit. And we didn't build anything, so I put it up. And then I've had a sign there. It used to have my daycare sign there. And then when my daycare sign came down, I put my walk sign up. And now that I'm going to take the walk sign down, I want to put the YouTube my Nona Grace YouTube channel sign up there because I don't want them to think it's a brand new something that I've just put up. I want to just replace the sign and take the one down and put the other one up right away so that they see a sign always there. They won't remember what's written on it, I'm sure, because you know how many times you ride past something and you think, oh gosh, when did that go there? And it's been there for years and you never realized it was there for years. So that's what I plan to do. So Nona Grace will stay as Nona Grace, the way I write it. When I give you my little heart and my name, that's how it will stay. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm getting warm because I'm getting nervous talking about it. So I better just end my video at this point. So this is the end of the video. And I hope you all had a great day. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.